We're here today at Queen's University Belfast. I'm Richard O'Leary, the coordinator of the LGBT Heritage Project, and I'm going to show you one of the places of pride in Northern Ireland's LGBT history. We're standing in front of the recently demolished Students' Union building of the university. 32 years ago, in 1988, I was a student at Queen's, a gay student, and that's the year that I came out. But many other LGBT students at the university were too anxious to come out or to attend even a small informal meeting of LGBT students. A few of us re-established what we called the Gay Sock and the Students' Union uh, made available a room on the third floor of uh, their building for us to meet. We would hand draw these posters and put them up on the staircase of the Student Union building to advertise our existence. But they were always torn down. So we also put a notice in the local free gay newsletter. This newsletter, and I'll read you the notice that we put in to the edition of October 1989. It reads, QUB Gay Sock, drop in, every Tuesday during term, 7 to 10 p.m., third floor, Student Union Building, University Road. There was only about six to eight of us that turned up most Tuesdays, but during Fesher's week, we put on a display stand and because our society was called Gay Sock, beginning with letter G, we were placed next to GAA, which was a Gaelic Sports Association. And they were a bit embarrassed about our presence. I was also aware that none of the local news agents would stop any LGBT publications. So I requested the Students' Union shop to stock a gay magazine this gay magazine, Gay Times. This is my own copy from January 1989, which I was delighted to be able to buy in the student union shop. There is still a LGBT sock at the university, and I would like the students and staff to be aware that Queen's has a long and proud career history.